Hi, I'm Shelby and this is my horse Gunner and today we're going to be talking about bot flies and bot egg removal. So what bots are is they are a parasite that you find on horses. Um, usually you'll find them in kind of the hotter months. It kind of depends. Sometimes they can just pop up randomly, but generally you'll find them if you look down at your horse's legs and you see these little gross yellow little seed looking things. Um, that's larvae of the bot fly. What happens is they lay kind of on, sometimes they'll lay on the withers, but usually it's on their legs um, and just spots that horses easily get to. So they'll, whenever the horse, whenever this horse itches his foot, he's going to go with his mouth and itch with his teeth and his tongue and stuff. And that's going to dislodge the bots into his mouth where they'll then stay there for a couple weeks and then they'll travel down into his digestive system and live in there for however long. So what happens whenever a horse has parasites? Generally, they will have harder issues keeping weight on them and stuff like that, and you can pretty easily solve that. Um, ivermectin is a really good, um, reliable warmer for bot flies and other common parasites. And generally it's recommended to, bot, to, uh, to deworm every month or two months or so, it kind of depends. Um, and if your horse looks wormy, so if they kind of start to show their ribs and they start losing weight and they keep it, but they keep a really big belly, that's generally a pretty good telltale sign that they have worms. Um, so you need to worm them and keep an eye on them and be careful. So there's a couple different instruments that you can use to remove the bots, the, the larvae of the bot fly. Um, on your horse's legs. The most common and the one that I use the most is this. This is called a bot knife. You can get it for pretty cheap at any uh, attack store or tractor supply or Atwoods or whatever. Um, they also use like pumice stones and stuff. I've used those. I, I don't really like them. Um, I've found that this works better um, and it's a little more reliable and easier. So what I do is I just take it and I make sure that the blade right here is facing kind of out. And you just take it in carefully because you're on your horse's legs and there's not much fat or tissue to protect the, the bones and ligaments. So you want to be really careful when you're down here. Um, and just carefully kind of scrape these off and it'll kind of make a little sound like you're kind of pulling the hair out a little bit. But it doesn't bother them. Um, and it's, if you keep up at it and just do this every couple of days, then your horse should be good 